Hi there! In this video, we will set up an SSH tunnel connection with NX Plenty to access a server on a private network. The demonstration here shows X Plenty reaching out through a firewall to a bastion host that will provide our tunnel into the database on a private network. In this example, we're going to use Amazon AWS. We have a Postgres server that is on RDS inside a VPC. Within the VPC is a Postgres database on a private subnet. Our Bastion host will be a Linux EC2 instance that sits inside the same VPC, but on a public subnet that we have given security access through the firewall for Xplenny's IPs to reach out and make this SSH tunnel connection through that host. So navigate to the Xplenny platform. Select New Connection on the top right corner of the Connections page. Under the Relational Databases column, select PostgreSQL. Give your connection an appropriate name. For the access type, we will select SSH Tunnel Connection. We'll then add our database and enter the username and password. The host name will be the endpoint found inside our Amazon RDS Management Console. So we'll navigate to the Amazon RDS platform and copy the host name. Paste it in the host name field. Because the host name is not a private subnet, we can't use the host name and directly access it, which is why we're using an SSH tunnel connection. Also, confirm your standard port number. For the SSH username, we'll have it as xplenty. We'll have to go through and set it up on our Bastion host. Our SSH host name is going to be the external IP address for that Bastion host, which was referenced earlier as a Linux instance that we have on EC2. On the EC2 management console, copy the IP address. Paste it in the SSH host name field. As you see here, the SSH public key here is grayed out. But when we create the connection, a unique public key will be generated. We will need the key to get onto our SSH server, so when the Xplenny servers reach out, we'll have our client key, and the SSH server providing the tunnel has our public key. This will allow them to communicate and send traffic securely to the database on the private subnet. Click Create Connection. Now, we've generated our SSH public key that we will use in a few moments. To set up the tunnel host itself, we have to go into the SSH server of the Bastion host and use a few commands to create an Xplenny user and input the newly generated key inside. We'll then visit our guide in the Xplenny knowledge base. Here we'll find all the commands that we'll need for a Linux machine. This can also be done on a Windows machine with PuTTY as well. Now, we're going to open a shell for our Linux machine, and we'll go through the different steps that we need to add. First, we'll need to create the xplenny group, and then create the xplenny user. to that user. Now we will create our directory so that we can add our public key. We'll also make sure to change the permission here. We're then going to create the authorization key files, change the permission, and add our key. For our next step, we will copy the SSH public key generated in the xplenny platform. Open up the shell. Use an editor of choice on your machine to access the authorized key files, and paste in the key. For this instance, we're going to use Nano. We're then going to paste it as one line. 
Once we write the file here and save it, we'll be all set with our tunnel instance. We have our key provided and our Bastion Linux host on EC2 that's on the public subnet, which can create access to that database on the private subnet. So we'll go back to the XPlenty platform. Click Test Connection. As you can see, the test is successful. So we now have secure and encrypted access through SSH to the Linux instance into our private subnet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.